the saint that has feast day today, the great martyr Saint Catherine of Alexandria. Her monastery is in Mount Sinai, the Sinai Peninsula, on Mount Sinai, and that's where the burning bush is also found, the burning bush that the prophet Moses saw and heard the voice of God telling him that he was to free the tribes of Israel from the Egyptian bondage. The great martyr Catherine of Alexandria, feast commemorated 25th of November annually. The holy great martyr Catherine was the daughter of Constus, the governor of Alexandria, Egypt, during the reign of the Emperor Maximian, that's from 503 to 313 AD. Living in the capital, the center of the Hellenistic knowledge and possess of a rare beauty and intellect, Catherine received an excellent education, studying the works of the greatest philosophers and teachers of antiquity. Young men from the most worthy families of the empire sought the hand of this beautiful Catherine, but she was not interested in any of them. She told her parents that she would enter into marriage only with someone who, surprised, who surpassed her in nobility, wealth, comeliness, and wisdom. Catherine's mother, a secret Christian, sent her to her own spiritual father, a saintly elder living in a cave outside of the city for advice. After listening to Catherine, the elder said that he knew of a youth who surpassed her in everything. Quote, his countenance is more radiant than the shine of the sun, and all of the creation is governed by his wisdom. His riches are given to all the nations of the world, yet they never diminish. His compassion is unequaled, end quote. This description of the heavenly bridegroom, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, produced in the soul of the Holy Maiden an ardent desire to see him. Quote, if you do as I tell you, said the monk, you will gaze upon the countenance of this illustrious man. End quote. In parting, the elder handed Catherine an icon of the Theotokos, the mother of God, with the divine child Jesus in her, on her arm and told her to pray with faith to the Queen of Heaven, the mother of the heavenly bridegroom, and she would hear Catherine and grant her her heart's desire. Catherine prayed all night and was permitted to see the Most Holy Virgin who said her divine son, quote, Behold my thy handmaiden Catherine, how fair and virtuous she is. End quote. But the child turned his face away from her, saying, No, she is ugly and unbelievable and unbelieving. She is a foolish pauper, and I cannot bear to look at her until she forsakes her impiety. End quote. Catherine returned again to the elder, deeply saddened, and told him what she had seen in the dream. He lovingly received her, instructed her in the faith of Christ, admonished her to preserve her purity and integrity, and to pray unceasingly. She then received the mystery of holy baptism from him. Again, St. Catherine had a vision of the Most Holy Theotokos with her child, and now the Lord looked tenderly at her and gave her a beautiful ring. A wondrous token of her betrothal to the heavenly bridegroom, this ring is still on her hand. At the time the Emperor Maximian, Maximian was in Alexandria for a pagan festival, therefore the celebration was especially splendid and crowded. The cries of the sacrificial animals, the smoke and the smell of the sacrifices, the endless blazing of fires and the bustling crowds at the arenas defiled the city of Alexandria. Human victims also were brought, the confessors of Christ, those who would not deny him under torture. They were condemned to death in the fire. The saint's love for the Christian martyrs and her fervor desire to ease their sufferings compelled Catherine to speak to the pagan priest and to the emperor Maximian. Introducing herself, the saint confessed her faith in the one true God and with wisdom exposed the errors of the pagans. The beauty of the maiden captivated the emperor. In order to convince her and to show the superiority of pagan wisdom, the emperor ordered 50 of the most learned philosophers and rhetoricians of the empire to, disp to dispute with her, but the saint got the better of the wise men, so they came to believe in Christ themselves. Saint Catherine made the sign of the cross over the martyrs, and they bravely accepted death for Christ and were burned alive by orders of the emperor. Maximian no longer hoped to convince the saint, tried to entice her with the promise of riches and fame. 
Receiving an angry refusal, the emperor gave orders to subject the saint to terrible tortures and then throw her in prison. The empress Augusta, who had heard much about the saint, wanted to see her. She prevailed upon the military commander Porphyrius to accompany her to the prison with a detachment of soldiers. The empress was impressed with the strong spirit of Saint Catherine, whose face was radiant with divine grace. The holy martyr explained the Christian teaching to them and they were converted to Christ. On the following day, they again brought the martyr to the judgment court where under the threat of being broken on the wheel, they urged that she renounce the Christian faith and offer sacrifice to the gods. The, st the saint steadfastly confessed Christ as she herself approached the wheels, but an angel smashed the instrument of execution, which shattered into pieces with many pagans standing nearby. Having beheld this wonder, the Empress Augusta and the Imperial Quarter, Courtier Porphyrius, with 200 soldiers, confessed their faith in Christ in front of everyone, and they were beheaded. Maximian again tried to entice the Holy Martyr, proposing marriage to her, and again he was refused. St. Catherine finally confessed her fidelity to the Heavenly Bridegroom Christ, and with a prayer to him, she herself lay her head on the block beneath the executioner's sword. The relics of St. Catherine were taken by the angels to Mount Sinai. In the 6th century, the venerable head and left hand of the Holy Martyr were found through a revelation that transferred with honor to a newly constructed church of the Sinai Monastery, built by the Holy Emperor Justinian November 14th. It was built in the 6th century. St. Catherine is called upon for relief and assistance during difficult childbirth, Pilgrims to her monastery on Mount Sinai are given souvenir rings as a remembrance of their visit. I myself wear one on the ring finger of my right hand. It, it, was, it is brought by uh, people from the monastery to uh, be purchased as a relic, as a holy um, token from the actual monastery of St. Catherine of Mount Sinai. Uh, which, as we said, has a burning bush from the time of our prophet Moses. And this is on Orthodox Church of America, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. Kindly support my Patreon account since that's the only way I can continue what you like seeing on this channel. Thank you. You'll find it in the description box below.